Hey, this is Create TV. This is Jackie Callum, and today I'm recording three very, very neat uh, Halloween tutorials for you. I'm going to show you how to create this black and white uh, or black and orange checked pattern from this template. So we'll start out by creating this template, and then we'll define a pattern and repeat it to be this 12 inch by 12 inch page or paper of the repeated template. Then I'm gonna show you how to create this document or this image with the leaves, the photograph of the leaves overlaid over uh, well, blend it into, I'm going to say that it's there, it's, we're going to blend them into the background. And then we're going to do one more thing. I'm going to add this photograph of this angel with the tombstone. And I'm going to blend the three layers together using blending modes. So we have three fun tutorials for you today. We'll start out with number one, creating this black and orange template that we'll repeat. So we'll start from the top. We'll create new, a new document. Now let, let me tell you something. I am, uh, I'm new at this and I haven't really learned how to zoom in and zoom out correctly, but there is relief. I do have all of these steps printed on a website. In fact, the I have uh, a visual representation of every step. The address for the the detailed tutorial, I'll place it inside the description bar. So if it um, if you can't see exactly what I'm doing at all times, please go to that tutorial and you'll see it more clearly. So the document, you'll go to File, New, and it's going to be four inches wide by four inches height. Click OK. There we have it. Now I'm going to increase the size uh, or the way that the, the, the window appears so that I can see it better. So I'm going to go to Control on a, on a PC or Command on a Mac. Hold down Control or Command plus T plus the uh, keyboard letter or plus, the plus sign. All at the same time, I'm going to click it once to zoom in at one level. Okay, I clicked it once and I'm zoomed in. Now I need to divide this into four exactly equal quadrants. So to do that, I'm going to go to the top bar to the word view, and I'm going to come down to rulers. And, and when you look at that, you'll see that the square or the screen or the window where our pattern template will be created is exactly four inches wide and four inches tall. Now I'm going to go back to the word view on the top bar and I'm going to click on the word new guide and you're going to see that you can either create a horizontal guide or a vertical guide. We're going to do each but you have to do one at a time. We're going to position it at two inches because that's exactly the middle of the four inch square. Now, I don't know whether you, there it is right there. Now, that is that, and, and if, if ever you wanted to move it, you have to click on the move, move tool and then, and you will move it at the end of this and just grab it and move it. Now we're going to create the horizontal guide. So go to view again new guide this time put a dot in the radio uh, menu for horizontal position at two inches click ok and there you have it now we're going to fill 
the upper quadrant first with a rectangle. Actually, it'll be a square, but we use the rectangle shape tool. The shape tools are located beneath the large T, which is the type tool in the uh, tool panel. So in the, in the rectangle tool, if you did click on the drop down menu, whatever shape you use last will be showing. So you use, you click on that little arrow and the rectangle tool, tool is the top, top one. Once you've selected the rectangle tool in the tool panel, then you have to go up to the top bar to the options. And we're actually, just for the sake of showing you how to change these colors, we're going to create the black squares first. So where you see the word fill on the second bar from the top, which is the options bar, click inside that and then click down here on the second row at the end on black. Okay, now you're ready to, so click back on the arrow and I am going to drag that square from the upper left down exactly to the middle. There we have it, now we have the black. Now I'm gonna repeat that but this time I'm going to stop at the upper left of the lower quadrant, which is right in the center, right on the bullseye, drag it down to the lower right and cover that square. Now we have to create this, by the way, this is exactly how you would create a template for the black and white, uh, for the black and white, um, tutorial the pattern in fact that is not a bad idea let, let me just go ahead and show you this real quick and, and this will uh because everyone loves the black and white one also so if i okay let's say we've done this uh, i'm going to pull away the this to be sure that i have um that all of my squares are meeting. There we have it. Yeah, they're, they're meeting. All right, now, so what I want to go do is I want to go to the word edit on the top bar, and I want to click on the word define pattern. Now then, name the pattern, let's say black and white check, or BW is what I just named it. Okay. Now then, go back up to the top bar, edit, uh, come down to the word, no, 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 we have to create a new document, file, new, whoops, file, oh my goodness gracious, go to file, new, we're going to create that 12 inch by 12 inch page for this black and white uh, pattern. Actually, you're getting four videos today. We're going to start out by creating the black and white, and then we'll do it again for the black and orange. Create a new document, 12 inches by 12 inches. Okay. Now, go back up to the top. Click on File. I mean, go to Edit and come down to Fill. Now, there is a box that says Contents. And I want you to look at the, click on the little arrow. It shows that you could have filled it with black or you could have filled it with any uh, a foreground color, white, gray. We're going to select, select the word pattern. Now, we have to go down and find the pattern template that we just created. And it was not the orange and black that I intended. We created a black and white template. So go down and find that at the bottom. It should probably be the last one in your panel. Click OK. Now, that's how you create the black and white pattern. All right, I'm going to end this document, this video, and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to do this again and create the orange and black because as i said before 
that is what the, the orange and black is what we're going to use to add these other effects. But the black and white, you really got, uh, like I said, you got a little extra today because the black and white is what I have a lot of requests for. Again, this is Create TV. Come back three more times today at least because I have three more videos lined up for you. I will, I, I will add a link to the description to show you where to find these tutorials written so that you can follow them a little bit more clearly. Uh, I've said this again and again, but I have uh, I have taught art actually for, for over 40 years and I have a lot of watercolor and drawing tutorials ready for you. Also, I'm not quite ready to record those because I'll have to record those live with my video camera. But in the meantime, I'll be uh, showing you a number of Photoshop tutorials. So I hope that you'll subscribe and like me and come back again and again. Thank you. This is Jackie Kellum from Create TV. Bye-bye.